If I had a dollar for every time someone had said, you're really talented, why don't you get your name out there more? I'd have about $50. <laughs> I figured that'd be enough for me to put on familiar clothes, pay someone their gas money to get me to a stage big enough for me to tell my latest story. I'd get to the venue with just a minute to spare, nerves and my fingertips as I write my name down in an alias only I know the origin of. Pages or my phone clutched in sweaty hands as I hope I rehearse this well enough as a loud voice welcomes my presence. In front of an audience I have passed many times in my walks in the natural but have never had the pleasure of being this hot, open and transparent with. I take a deep breath. As I start to speak, my voice cracks, so I go for a joke to break the tension of an already impatient crowd. It goes over well, so I keep going. My first line starts like this. You see, when I met you, I was lost. All I knew is that I wanted this day to be over and to hop on the first bus going anywhere, despite the fact that it was the only bus that could get me home. I had barely eaten for days and only my work ethic remained. Isolation had become my hobby and crying my favorite pastime. I had sworn off what I know God promised me because for almost a year I had gotten convinced that it just wasn't in the cards for me. And then one day I looked up. Like scales had fallen from my eyes, like I could see you as clearly as a summer's day or oh, whatever that lyric is that compares you to the month of May. I had realized how fast my feet were in a rush not to sin, but eager to get to that exact spot. How I must be crazy to fathom in my mind. How could you look so breathtaking when all the days around you are in disarray? Why I think my smile should be radiating more light that overshadows the sun or Christmas lights. Whichever one brings more joy, or how nervous I actually am, that I know full well that if I take in the reflection of you for too long, if we are in a room alone for too long, my biggest fear is that something will happen that will ruin it all, or possibly save it all from crumbling under uncertainty and doubt. Maybe that means I have to come to the realization that you were never my type. Maybe forgiving me was never your plan. Maybe I thanked God that I have days where I never have to ask him again. Yo, what is their name? And the funny part is, I wonder what kind of person would God create that could make me feel like this? Have we already met? messed up and the way we feel about each other now are just the remnants of the love we would have had if we didn't let our choices get the better of us and our what ifs are just going to be safe when we finally get it right with the next person or is one of us forever gifted with singleness or is this exactly what we wanted what I wanted what you wanted. I heard a very prolific man on a video talk about the idea of soulmates and what he said has stayed with me. When you know, you know. And when you don't, it ain't. 